Speaking of NBA, a gentleman I appreciate, Mr. Paul Pierce, because he did play on the Celtics uh, while I was living in Massachusetts growing up there, stomping grounds. Um, he was working for ESPN. Mm-hmm. Got into a little, little thing. Mm-hmm. What was the live video of? It was a live video of, um, alleged live video of Mr. Paul Pierce. Hi. Smoking what appeared to be a joint based off of the caption. Yes, um, him being high. Uh, <laughs> and um, he was accompanied by some female body movers. It was, they were dancers. They were, they were strippers. They were scrippers. Strippers, yeah. um, And ESPN fired him the next day, which it's such a... It's such a fine line because he would still have his job if it if he didn't put it live. So I'm curious, and everybody, not everybody's doing this because I know you ain't doing this, but most men in his position, you can fix your face because I know you're. Not, I absolutely know you're not doing it. Um, most men in his position are going to these type of events, are partaking. I was almost in Magic City this week. No, almost, no, you were. You were absolutely not almost in Magic City. I, that was I, not going to happen. I had to live. I had to live vicariously through my, through yeah. my little brother. Yeah. Anyway, so, so I don't know if I, I definitely don't think that they should have fired him. I don't think this is fireable. Um, I'm not sure if ESPN was try, is trying to go for this wholesome family sports broadcaster image that paul pierce now no longer fits but i just thought it was a bit of an extreme like give him a slap on the wrist be like yo do what you're gonna do but don't put it on live um maybe they feel like kids are following him because you know they might be watching his stuff um seeing him on the tv and then wanting to follow him on social media i thought it was a bit extreme um you know i kind of teeter the line when it comes to cancel culture uh i have my biases but i just thought that it it seemed it just didn't seem like the type of thing you do that you have to fire someone for, uh, especially, you know, a former pro athlete, someone who has money. Like, the, this is what these guys do anyway. What do you mean, these guys? These guys. It sounds like a blanket statement. These guys with money. I just didn't feel like it was fair for it to be like, oh, you're now you've lost your job because you were living it up and you happened to put it on IG. So a couple of thoughts. Number one, this definitely came up in the, the group chat that I have with my, oh my two cousins, Mark and, and Lamont and my brother Donald. And um, honestly, it just it, it didn't strike me as something that somebody who didn't already know that they were going to be fired or, or changing changing courses would do. Like it just it seemed oh, out of lame place. Duck stage. Yeah, like I well, I'm you know they're they're about I'm about to go my own way anyway, so. Let me go ahead and do this. And he only did her, their own. It was alive, and there was only like 350 people watching. Now that's more people than yes. who watch Rush Live <laughs> currently. But still, for a like, for a a celebrity uh, announcer, uh, a Hall of Fame basketball player, it is a very low number of of live viewers. But there was a lot of a lot of action going on. There were women twerking. Did you uh, watch people it? throwing people throwing. Uh, poker chips. Did you watch it? Poker chips at the. At, Did you at watch the it? I well, the thing is, because it was alive, and with Instagram, you have you the option. You have hours. the option to post your live to your your feed, but mm-hmm. I don't think he did. So you're basically, if you wanted to see what happened, you'd have to go on Twitter and. You so know, did match. you piece it together? No, I only I only saw like a little bit of it. Uh, whether or not he should have been fired, I think that he works for ESPN. Yes. Ultimately, he works for D, for uh, Disney, the mouse company, Mickey Mouse Company. So, uh, you know, they like to project a very safe, family-oriented uh, atmosphere. And if they feel something goes counterintuitive to that, then they have the option to, to let someone go. So if this live actually was what caused ESPN and ultimately Disney to let Paul Pierce go, you know, I can... I don't really have a problem with it. I think if someone had captured him doing, like, if he was, if he was in the in the privacy of his own home, and mm-hmm. you know they were just they were just hanging out, and one of the guests or one of the doormen or one of the valet people, 
you know, had the little shaky cam footage of Paul Pierce, that'd be one thing because he wasn't projecting it himself. He was having a private moment. But I think because he went live intentionally and filmed like everything, like he was panning the phone so he can get both butt cheeks in the frame of the stripper behind him. Like because he did all that, uh, I think that's that's why they had no they had no issues letting him go. So I mean, it's justified. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you know, but I'm sure he he's not hurting for for money or whatever. He's, he's I, I hope he's not. I hope he had yeah. a, a decent savings account somewhere. Yeah, going through some growing pains. Yeah, nothing but some growing pains. Yeah, hey, hey, I done came way too far.